HTTV, in association with Illingworth and Gregory, we're joined with Andrew Gale. Andrew, tell us why you're here at Huddersfield Town today. Um, I'm pretty inexperienced as a coach. Last year, my first full season uh, as head coach of Yorkshire, so I'm just going around a bit of personal development to see how different sports do things. Um, I had a day at Arsenal last winter. I've got a day at Man City um, coming up. So, you know, Huddersfield, being a big town fan and being on my doorstep, I know Lee Bromby uh, well, having lived in the, the same area as him for a while. So, any Anything I can learn and pick up, I can take back to Yorkshire and use. How have you found the under-18 session this morning? Yeah, it looks good. The lads look hungry. Um, the intensity is high. You can tell they're all competing for places and, and contracts and what have you. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, it's good to see how they do it. And like I say, hopefully they can pick a few things up. You being a town fan yourself, you've obviously been at the John Smith Stadium this season. How have you found the Premier League, the excitement of it? Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, everyone you speak to, there's a buzz about the place, there's a buzz about the town itself, and um, you know, to get to the Premier League was unbelievable to start with. But to, to start the way that they have done this year has been fantastic. The, the atmosphere on a game day um, is electric, and um, you know, let's hope that continues and they can stay in the Premier League. Do you look at David Wagner's techniques as well? What he does on the sideline, perhaps, obviously some of the things he does in the warm-up. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I try to pick up what I can, um, speaking to a few of the first team guys um, and then speaking to a few of the, the under 23s and under 18 coaches, find out what he does, what sort of that analysis he does around his sessions. Um, yeah, I'm trying to pick up what I can, not just from David Wagner, but from football in general. And like I said, if I can take any snippets back and, and use it and improve the things that we do at Yorkshire, then that's a bonus. Broms, Andrew Gale's been here today. Just talk us through what he's been doing. Um, yeah, he's just asked if he could come in and uh, watch how we work within the you know, uh, football and what we do every day with the lads, um, sort of our plans. Uh, so it's been good uh, for us because he's, you know, he's been so successful with cricket. Um, it's great for him to be here and we've all welcomed him. Um, and I think it's, he's just trying to get sort of a feel for what we do with the players every day. It shows how close Huddersfield Town is with the community and other sports as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, Gail invited me into uh, Yorkshire Cricket, so I, I went in last season and uh, had a look how they work. And, you know, it's good to, to go into other sports and see how they work and, and the differences and the, the strengths and sort of weaknesses of both. So, uh, you know, it's been a good morning. He's had a bit of insight into how we work. Um, so, no, it's been an enjoyable day so far. Has there been any specifics that you've picked up maybe from other sports that you've brought into the Huddersfield Town Academy? Yeah, I think, I, I mean, I went to... Uh, Yorkshire Counter Cricket Club last year with Galen. They, they do a lot on psychology, uh, so we've had a, a, a talk about that this morning. Now this season we've introduced that, uh, so we've introduced sports psychology with you know with the younger players and so of the first team. So um, in terms of the cricket, they're very individual, so all their sessions are individual. So he's he's looking at hours, and we we maybe don't do as much as that. So it sometimes is looking and thinking, can we do more individual sessions like like what they do with the cricket?